Insurex Pharma is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focused on leveraging its extensive development and oncology expertise to advance new therapies intended to address the unmet needs, particularly in the area of cancer. And with me is the CFO, Alex Ellenberger. Great to have you here at the NASDAQ. And give us an overview of the company. What is it you're doing? Well, first of all, thanks for having me today, Jane. Uh, Vincerix Pharma, as you all said, we're striving to conquer cancer through the creation of safe, well-tolerated medicines to cater to the unmet medical needs of cancer patients today. As you probably know, it comes to no surprise that cancer is still one of the leading causes of death worldwide. And historically, cancer treatment has always leaned on chemotherapy and radiotherapy, but those treatments tend to come with a lot of very toxic side effects, usually forcing patients to have to choose between quality of life and life itself. So over the past 15 years, new innovative medicines have come to market, like immune oncology and targeted therapies, aiming at bringing safer and more targeted approach to cancer, trying to address the side effects of radio and chemotherapy. However, there's still a huge amount of patients that still need a safe and effective treatment for cancer. Within cancer drugs, there are different types of cancer drugs, and one of them is called an antibody drug conjugate, or ADC. And ADCs use antibodies that are designed specifically to attach to cancer cells, and they're tethered by a purposely built molecule specifically built to kill those cancer cells. So by doing and designing this more targeted approach, the idea and the aim is to minimize the side effects that cancer treatments traditionally have over normal tissue. Mm -hmm. So over the past couple of months, even from the beginning of the year, like ADCs have been really hot in the market, specifically driven by the Pfizer Seattle genetics acquisition. And they're really exciting to the market specifically because of this super targeted approach. However, most ADCs that are still out there in the market still have a lot of dose limiting toxicities. And that is exactly where we come in. So, Thanks to our next generation bioconjugation platform, at Vincerex, we're developing very targeted new medicines that will not only attack cancer cells, but also protect healthy tissue, therefore trying to minimize the bystander effect and the overall toxicities associated with cancer treatment. Yeah, very interesting. Tell me about your pipeline. Um, what do you have in there and how does that compare to other similar companies? Sure. So within our company, our pipeline is composed of multiple investigational medicines that are bucketed within what we call a bioconjugation, which are SMDCs or small molecule drug conjugates and ADCs, antibody drug conjugates, that are specifically and purposely built to target tumor cells but at the same time, save the surrounding healthy tissue of any unwanted toxicities and therefore making it more acceptable and better tolerated by patients, thus potentially giving them the gold medicines that cancer patients mm -hmm. and their care partners really deserve. As I mentioned before, ADCs hold a lot of promise but they still have a lot of side effects right now. So our current platform, the bioconjugation platform that I mentioned, is aimed at solving all these problems through the purpose building of very specific targeted molecules that will attack specifically the cancer cells and save the healthy surrounding <laughs> tissues from unwanted toxicities. Let me give you a little bit of run-throughs through our pipeline. So first we've got what we call VIP236, which is a small molecule drug conjugate that is currently under development uh, to treat different types of advanced metastatic solid tumors. In our preclinical analysis and tests that we did before we managed to get this into the clinic, 
we proved that when comparing this to the standard of care, which is what patients normally receive as treatment, we saw a significant improvement in the efficacy of our treatment, specifically in tumor reduction volumes. And right now, we are enrolling our phase one clinical yeah. trial since the beginning of the year, and we expect to be able to release some data by the end of the year, early next year. Mm -hmm. Then we've got what we call VIP 943, which is our anti-CD123 antibody drug conjugate focused on multiple types of leukemias. In preclinical settings, we showed that this compound showed significant improvement as well of both efficacy and safety when compared to other ADCs in the market, and we're really excited about that. And we just recently announced that we initiated the enrollment on our phase one clinical trial focus on relapse and refractory acute myeloid leukemia, myelodysplastic syndromes, and B-cell acute lymphoblastic <laughs> leukemia. Mm. We're expecting to release top line data within 2024. Mm. Then a little bit behind on the pipeline, we've got what we call VIP 924, which is another antibody drug conjugate that we have targeting an anti-CXCR5. And this one is being tested in multiple types of cancer. Also really excited platform, and it shares a lot of the bioconjugation modules of VIP 943. And last but not least, mm -hmm. and aside from our bioconjugation platform, we have what we call enetocyclib, or VIP 152, which is currently being developed and tried in combina as a combination agent in multiple types of cancer because it showed some really interesting early promises there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that very thorough explanation. You're welcome. <laughs> interesting how you've got all those kind of you know in the pipeline coming over the next sounds like year or so. So yeah, we got a lot of things coming. Months. We're really excited about that. Yeah. It's taken some time, but we finally feel that we're getting there. Yeah. So Alex, the team at Vincerex is really interesting. Explain who's behind this company. Thank you for mm. that. I'm extremely humbled and proud of working with such an accomplished group of individuals. Our founders, CEO Dr. Ahmed Hamdi and COO Dr. Raquel Izumi, have been involved in multiple drug approvals and multi-billion dollar acquisitions and deals. Two of the drugs that they were involved in, uh, currently approved drugs, Calquins and Imbruvica, completely changed the landscape for patients in chronic lymphocytic leukemia and mantle cell lymphoma. Their story is so interesting that it was prominently featured in a recently released book called For Blood and Money mm -hmm. that was released earlier mm -hmm. this year and was very well received by the biotech community and beyond. Aside from that, a big part of our team was also involved in the development of these two drugs and they decided that they wanted to get another go at it at Vincerex. These individuals really know how to get gold medal medicines in the hands of patients. Collectively, we have over 40 decades of biotech and pharma experience combined with over 50 drug approvals of which more than 70% have been in the oncology space. So in summary, we have a highly accomplished and highly motivated team that has done this before, is very well connected, has all the energy and all their will put towards Vincerex and trying to accomplish and unlock the value of bioconjugation and our bioconjugates, which is to bring out there to cancer patients well-tolerated, safe, and effective medicines for cancer patients out there. Well, thank you so much, Alex. Very important work you're doing, and I hope you come back and update us. Absolutely, I love to. Some of these results. I love to. We got a lot of milestones coming around, so Absolutely. maybe when we hit summer, we can come and uh, come back and just tell you about them. Would love to hear that. So, thank you so much. You're Alex. welcome.